I previously worked for the Department of Defense for 15 years. My experience was doing um, essentially field work, um, something very similar to ground investigations. And I left that career two years ago. My husband and I had been talking for years about our next career and wanting it to be in a space of giving, doing good in the world. But after digging down really deep, we could not think of anything more evil in this entire world than child sex trafficking, child sexual exploitation. And in that discovery is how we found OUR. OUR is an intervention organization and we are made up of former law enforcement, government officials that really value and understand the importance of supporting law enforcement. OUR investigators will never do operations without law enforcement. We abide by our MOUs and our close partnership and relationships that we build with them, and we do everything hand in hand. Everything from receiving a tip, we'll build out a report and we'll give it to them, and we'll collaborate and we'll do operational planning, and during the raids, even working with social services after a rescue. So we are always working very closely with law enforcement and the government. My job entails supporting the offices that we have throughout Asia and finding ways that we can enhance our operations and support law enforcement in the various countries we're in. The biggest challenges I think OUR faces in this fight are the ever-evolving technological challenges. It's harder to find the traffickers who are using the internet as a shield. I get emotional when I think about the passion and the skills that our team has, what they do to contribute to the fight. Our digital forensics team, they are so absolutely amazing. It doesn't matter how dingy, dark, dirty, whether it's on the dark web or in the rural areas, they'll go and they'll conduct those investigations, they'll build partnerships with law enforcement and our amazing aftercare, because they stay with our survivors for as long as they need, up to their lifetime if needed. They go to the shelters, they go and do home visits, and they really assess the needs of not only the survivors, but their families as well. I would want a donor to know that their donations are incredibly appreciated and are going a really long way in rescuing and supporting our survivors. I fight with my team and alongside those who are just as passionate as I am to rescue those who can't fight for themselves.